This small device can crash a plane. It can't, it can't crash a plane, guys. Anthony here for D News, and as much as most people hate the experience of airline flying, I actually love it. I love packing, I love airports, I love airplanes, I like those little fun-sized snack bags. There's actually only one part of the experience of flying that really bugs me, this. Please completely power off and stow all personal electronic Now look, it's not that I can't sit calmly for 15 minutes without a screen in my face. Okay, it kind of is, I have some problems. But it's more because the rule just makes no sense. You're telling me that the advanced avionics of a commercial airliner are no match for my Kindle being turned on? The FAA says this about the whole thing. 80% of pilot-caused errors occur during taxiing to the departure runway, and most in-flight accidents happen between the ground and 10,000 feet. Anything that interferes with the instruments on the plane in those crucial times could cause a lot of harm. Except they don't follow their own rules. See, pilots used to have to carry around these binders of flight information, but now they keep all that info on iPads. And those iPads also give them real-time weather and flight path information. So you can bet that those things are not off during takeoff and landing, and it sounds like they're not really in airplane mode either. And if you've ever been on a flight with Wi-Fi, you know that those networks are on through the whole trip too. The FAA says, look, Two iPads and a Wi-Fi router, that's just three devices. 200 devices would give off much more energy and that would mess with the plane. Except no, because that's not how electromagnetic energy works. If putting hundreds of mobile devices within close range of one another built up electromagnetic fields like that, you would need a spacesuit to shield yourself from the dangerous radiation of all the freelancers working in a coffee shop or people texting on the bus, which actually doesn't sound like a bad idea to me, but I'm also kind of an antisocial germaphobe. Okay, says the FAA, how about this one? All devices are different. Every model of plane is different. We would have to test every device with every plane to know what's safe. No, see, very few mobile devices are custom internally. You'll find the same few wireless chips in just about every phone on the market, and every phone has to operate across the same radio frequencies. So when the FAA is pressed about all these technical loopholes, they finally give answers that make a little bit of sense. Making people turn off their devices during takeoff makes them quiet and attentive during safety information, and keeping people off their mobile phones during flights stops them from annoying other passengers. Now, that I get but it seems like the rules could be less severe and still accomplish the same thing. How about, hey, no phone calls during the flight and pay attention when we're talking to you. I could get down with that. You know, the FAA has been asked to look into and change these rules by members of the Senate, and they say they're gonna do it, but they haven't given a plan or a timeline for doing so. I don't know, do you think that we should be able to use our devices during takeoff? Am I, am I being petty about this? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News three times a day.